today is Osega. And there are two kinds of Osega. You have Osega Nla and Osega Kikiri. In other words, it's called the bigger Osega and the smaller Osega. Osega also means a day set aside. It's every nine, nine days that is set aside within the palace for the princesses and princes to come together to appease the deity and also have uh, a meeting on how to run the family affairs. So this has been on since the creation of uh, um, language and the creation of um, uh, the Yoruba colony and the uh, Bini uh, colony. It's, um, it's a traditional way of um, administrating uh, control, determine what to do within uh, the town. It's, um, it's, it's a direct uh, uh, means used by the traditional heads to discuss with every district head, after which uh, they must have performed all the ritual rites at the various deities and conclave. And that is what we are about to do today. And um, uh, we pray and uh, hope that um, all we do today will be accepted uh, by God Almighty uh, through the deities that are all in the palace. Yes, I'll say Nla is um, when all the doors to all the deities within the palace are open for appeasement to happen. Also, Kikiri is uh, when half of the doors to all the deities are open for the same appeasement. So, Osenla is much more expensive uh, going by uh, the financial implication to Ose Kikiri. And um, that has been the tradition. And we'll continue to uphold the tradition because um, what we are doing with Ose, Osenla and Ose Kikiri is uh, to promote, protect, guide, and uh, um, give the history of the entire family into uh, a perspective where the young ones can also emulate. Yeah, you see, like I said, I said also a guy is an indirect administrative platform designed by the traditional head to get in touch with district heads, towns leaders, market leaders, people from all um, sector that makes up the community or the town. So for every nine days, it is like an executive meeting attached with um, the, the traditional religional rites. So the traditional religional rites will be performed first before the meeting. So it is after the traditional rites have been performed, then there will be this extensive meeting. The extensive meeting will determine, will now give a proper face of how to know, how to solve problems and how to create other policies that will be used to govern the state, the clown, the kingdom, or within uh, the, the settlement with which uh, the palace is cited. Um, you see, deities, deities, some other people will say deities are uh, gods or small gods. Of course, they are not, it's just one god. And um, the various religions, they all have uh, their link to Almighty God. And those links had to do with uh, the deities before the Western religion came in. So, the Western religion came in, they, they just believe that um, through Jesus Christ we pray. And the traditional religion also have uh, the various deities that they pray through to God Almighty. And um, in the course of doing this, it is traditional that um, a goat will be slain, slain um, chicken, and some other birds will also will also be you know be killed where for that uh, uh, process to commence. And those things are done in order to have those uh, uh, 
those, those, those chicken, goats, the flesh of those chicken and goats to be used to feed the people that came. So it's not that they are killing those things for the gods to eat. But it's an indirect way of not wasting the process. And that process continues by making sure people are fed. But you see, the bigger Osega, which will attract more people, because all the doors to all the deities will be open. So that also uh, provides the platform for goats, ram, to be killed. And when those things are killed, the more the people, because Osega attracts more people. Osega attracts more people, the bigger one. The smaller one attracts lesser people. And that is the reason why you have more uh, cost implication. You know, those days, those things are available. The goat, the chicken are available within the palace. And some other chiefs will also bring theirs to make it happen. It's, it's a communal contribution for it to happen. But right now, you have to buy. Even the chiefs or the people, the head, the head of various uh, districts, will have to go and buy. So that resulted in financial uh, implication to high to be higher than um, each one of those uh, uh, process. So no matter how small the Osega is, uh, you, financial implication um, will also be put in on will also be put on paper. And it is it is it is normal. It is of economic sense that you must buy to make things happen now. Uh, people don't have those things in the in their various farms. They don't have compound that they rear goats or rear chicken. So um, you must buy.